Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. Today we're looking at Matthew 27, starting in verse 24. And it says, So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And all the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. See, everyone here knew that Jesus was innocent. Pilate knew he was innocent and could find no reason to actually send him to be crucified, which is why he washed his hands. The people knew he was innocent, which is why they said that. And Jesus was completely innocent because he was perfect. He is the Son of God. He had to be completely perfect and innocent and holy so that he could bear all of our guilt and shame and punishment for all of our sin. And not only our sin personally, but all sin for all time for every person that has ever lived or will live in history. Jesus had to be perfect in order to bear the wrath of God so that we could be forgiven and free. But Jesus suffered so much because of our sin and see that scourging that Jesus endured, what the Romans would do is they would take leather and they would make it into a whip and they would put pieces of rock and metal and bone into the whip and they would repeatedly hit people over and over again in the back. And those pieces of bone and rock, <clears throat> they would take chunks of flesh and tissue and muscle out of the person, leaving them exposed, sometimes exposing their organs. And many people didn't even survive the scourging itself, but Jesus did. And then he went to the cross and suffered one of the most horrific deaths in all of history. And he did that because he loves you and me. But it wasn't just the physical pain that he endured. He also endured the spiritual pain of taking all of our shame, all of our guilt and punishment of our sin. And why did he endure all of that? He endured it because he loves us. He wants a relationship with us. And he was willing to suffer all of that so that we could be a part of his family and we could have a personal relationship with him. And we could know the creator of the universe, the one who has all power and authority. And he wants each and every single one of us to know that he loves you and was willing to suffer all of that so that you could have a relationship with him, that you could experience freedom and not be a slave to sin and shame anymore, that you could have peace and hope and joy that lasts for eternity. So my question is, do you recognize what Jesus has done for you? And does that change how you live? Are you willing to spend time with Jesus? because he was willing to give up his life for you? Are you willing to spend time with Jesus? Are you willing to talk with him every day about everything in your life? Are you willing to sacrifice for Jesus, your time, your relationships, money, your habits? Are you willing to sacrifice to follow Jesus? See, are you willing to trust him and follow him no matter what it costs you? Because God loved you so much that he was willing to suffer and die for you. And he rose three days later to conquer sin and death so that you could have a relationship with him and spend eternity with him. So all of these things, sacrificing for Jesus, following him, spending time with him, we do that out of gratitude and love because he first loved us. So I hope that you will love Jesus with all that you have. Have a great day.